An arithmetic progression or arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers such that the difference from any succeeding term to its preceding term remains constant throughout the sequence. The constant difference is called common difference of that arithmetic progression. This is the formula of the arithmetic sequence. Morning. Today we're going to talk about arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence is also known as arithmetic progression. Arithmetic sequence is a series of numbers denoted by a common difference. So I have an example of arithmetic sequence here. 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, and 20. So now, let's try to solve the problem. Find the 15th term in the sequence given 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, and 20. So step number one. Find the common difference. So in order for you to find the common difference, you, use, you should use the formula D is equals to A sub 2 minus A sub 1. So now, D is equals to A sub 2. The value of A sub 2 is 8 minus A sub 1, which is 5. That is our values. So let's subtract 8 and 5. 8 minus 5 is equals to 3. So this is our common difference. Step number 2. Determine the end term. So in order for you to determine the end term, you should use the formula a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus to open n minus 1 close the d. Now, let's convert a sub n into a sub 15. Since the 15th term is being asked, because the value of a sub 1 is 5 plus open n minus 1 close then the value of d, 3. Now, let's use the distributive method and the value of the common difference inside the parenthesis. So 5 plus 3 times n is equals to 3n minus 3 times negative 1 is equal to negative 3. Now, let's arrange the problem. a sub 15 is equals to 5 transpose 3n minus 3 plus 3n. So now the problem is arranged, let's solve the problem. A sub 15 is equal to 5 minus 3 is 2 plus 3 and then continue. A sub 15 is equal to 2 plus 3 and equals to 5 n. So this is our n third. Now let's proceed to step number 3. Find the 15th term. So in this formula, A sub n is equal to A sub n. We just need to convert um, n it is to 15. So now, let's change the letter n into the value of 15. So a sub 15 equals to a, our value of a is 5, so 5, and convert n into 15, so multiplied by 15. So a sub 15 is equals to 5 multiplied by 15 is equals to 75. So this is our n third. This is an, another example of arithmetic sequence 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, so on and so forth. So now we're going to find the 10th term in the sequence given. So step 1, find the common difference. The common difference denoted by D. The formula of common difference is D is equal to A sub 2 minus A sub 1. So the value of A sub 2 is 10 and the value of A sub 1 is 5. So now we're going to sub, sub, subtract the A sub 2 and A sub 1. So, 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. Step 2, determine the n term. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus open n minus 1 close then the common difference. So, the value of n is 10. So, a sub 10 is equal to 5 plus open n minus 1 close then the common difference, 5. <coughs> so, now we're going to distribute the 5 here inside. So, a sub n is equals to 5. 5, five times n is equals to 5 and then 5 times 1 is equals to negative 1. So now we're going to transpose the 5 n here at above the 5. So the answer is 5 n. So step 3, find the 10th term. So the formula of finding the 10th term is a sub n is equals to a sub n. So the value of a sub n here in the common difference, I hear in finding the 10th term is uh, a sub 10 then equals to the value of here finding the n term is uh, no, 5 n. Then a sub 
of that is equal to 5 times 10, then the, the value of s of that is 50. <laughs> An arithmetic sequence is also important in simulating. Mathematical sequence is not only predetermining a series of numbers that are in sequence, but which. It helps us to determine a certain pattern. It's either in a form of numerical or in life. Experiences that shows a pattern, a sequence, that will help us nurture our mind on analyzing either educational or personal realizations that will ensure a personal amelioration in life.